Tired of fighting with AI to get the results you want? What if you could instantly generate the perfect emails, blog posts, or even analyze data just by telling AI exactly what to do? In this video, you'll learn the surprisingly simple prompt engineering secrets that'll make you an AI expert, saving you hours of frustration. So let's dive in. All right, before we get into the magic of writing amazing prompts, let's peek under the hood of AI for a sec. How does this digital brain actually see what you type? Here's the kicker. It's not actually reading it like you are. When you say, write about a dog playing at a park, your brain sees a happy pup, maybe some green grass, maybe a Frisbee. AI, on the other hand, it sees numbers. Seriously, every word that you type gets turned into a numerical code. Think of it like a secret agent handshake for computers. Now it's not just looking at single numbers, it's looking for connections, for patterns. It figures out that the number for dog plus the number for playing plus the number for park usually hang out together. That's its way of understanding what you mean. These AI brains have been trained on tons of internet stuff, so they've seen a gazillion of these number patterns. So when you give it a prompt, it's like it's saying, based on all these number patterns that I've seen, what is most likely to come next? So the big takeaway, to get the best results, you gotta speak its numerical pattern loving language. Got it? All right, let's move on to how to do that. So that brings us to prompt engineering, or as I like to call it, the art of effective AI communication. We're gonna unlock this art by focusing on five key principles that will help you get exactly what you want from AI every single time. Think of these as your go-to rules for speaking AI's language fluently. Our first key to effective AI communication is specificity and conciseness. The number one mistake people make when they're prompting AI is not being specific enough. Remember, AI sees patterns. So to get the results you want, you need to lay the breadcrumbs for it to follow. Think of it as guiding a very smart, but not mind reading assistant. The more specific you are, the better AI can understand your needs and the better it can pull the right patterns from its vast knowledge base. For example, instead of a vague post like, write a blog post about marketing, let's be specific. Like what kind of marketing? Who's the target audience? What's the goal of the blog post? A much better prompt would be, Write a 500 word blog post for small business owners about the benefits of email marketing for customer retention. Use a friendly and encouraging tone. See the difference? We're giving AI clear directions, telling it exactly what we want it to do and who it's for. This helps AI to pick up the right breadcrumbs and deliver a much more valuable response. Now the conciseness part of this first key is really cutting out any unnecessary words from your prompt because this is more information for AI to have to process and that can cause confusion. Just be direct and get straight to the point. Now being specific is just the beginning. Let's talk about how to give AI the full picture so that it can truly Truly understand your needs. Our second key to effective AI communication is providing rich context. Remember that AI, while incredibly powerful, does not inherently understand your business, your customers, or your goals. It relies on the information you provide to pick up the right signals and give you a relevant response. Think of it as giving your assistant all the necessary details before they start a task. For example, if you want AI to help you write a social media post, don't just say, write a post for Instagram. Instead, provide context like, write an Instagram post promoting our new line of organic dog treats. Our target audience is pet owners in their 20s and 30s who are passionate about healthy and sustainable pet food. The tone should be friendly and enthusiastic. Highlight the fact that these treats are made with all natural ingredients and are grain free. Include a call to action to visit our website. See how much more information we've given to the AI? we've painted the full picture of what we're looking for. Another crucial aspect of context is tone of voice. Do you want your AI generated content to sound formal and professional or friendly and conversational? Be sure to specify that in your prompt. For example, you could say, write a product description for our new software using a professional and informative tone, or write a fun and quirky social media update about our team's latest achievement. By providing this contextual information about your desired tone, you're making sure that the AI is gonna give you an output that matches your brand and messaging. Also, clearly defining your target audience is another really important part of providing rich context. Knowing who you're trying to reach will help the AI tailor its language, tone, and the information that it includes to best resonate with your target audience. Now, giving context is powerful, but wait until you see how much control you gain by starting to guide AI's structure and style. And that brings us to the third key to effective AI communication, 
You've told the AI what you want and you've given it the necessary context. Now it's time to tell it how you want that information presented. This involves specifying the desired format and even giving AI a persona or a role to play. First, think of the structure of your desired output. Do you need a bulleted list of key points? A well-organized table comparing different options? A short, concise paragraph? Be explicit in your prompt. For example, instead of just saying, list the benefits of cloud computing, try saying, list the top five benefits of cloud computing formatted as a bulleted list. Or if you want to compare features, you could say something like this, create a table comparing the features and pricing of three different CRM software options with columns for feature, price, and user reviews. This gives AI clear instructions on how to structure its response, making it way more useful for your needs. Another powerful technique within this key is assigning AI a role to play. Think of it as giving AI a specific hat to wear. By telling AI to act like a specific professional or persona, you're significantly influencing the style and the tone of the response. For example, if you need a social media post, you could say something like this, act as a social media marketing expert, write a tweet announcing our upcoming webinar. Or if you need a more technical explanation on something, you could say something like this. You are a cybersecurity analyst, explain the concept of zero trust security in simple terms. Giving AI a role to play helps to tap into specific areas of its knowledge and tailor its responses accordingly. Finally, don't forget the power of limitations. Just like setting boundaries with a helpful assistant, telling the AI what not to do could be just as important as telling the AI what to do. You could specify things like word count, write a summary in under 200 words, the level of technical detail, avoid technical jargon, or specific topics to avoid. Do not mention our competitors, as an example. These limitations keep the AI focused and make sure that the output that you're getting is relevant and concise. Now, controlling structure and style is a game changer, but the real power comes from knowing how to tweak and improve your prompts. Our fourth key, and this is a really important one, is embracing iteration. Let's be honest, even the most experienced prompt engineers don't always nail it on the first try. Think of prompt engineering as a conversation. You might not get exactly what you're looking for from your initial question, and that's perfectly normal. The key is to view AI's response as a starting point and be prepared to refine your prompts. Iteration is all about analyzing AI's output and identifying what works and what doesn't work, and then making adjustments to your prompt to get it closer to what your desired output is. Don't be afraid to experiment with different phrasing, add more context, or adjust the structure and style. It's a process of continuous improvement. And here's a powerful trick in the iteration process that so many people overlook. Ask the AI for feedback on your prompts. If you're not getting the result you want or you wanna improve your prompting skills, you can directly ask the AI for suggestions on how to do that. For example, you could say something like, how can I make my prompt more specific? Or what context am I missing in this prompt to get a better response? Or can you suggest some ways to structure this prompt a little bit more effectively? Or even what are some alternative phrasings that I could try for this prompt? This turns AI into a learning partner, helping you to master the art of prompt engineering over time. Another powerful technique within iteration is step-by-step -step prompting. For really complicated tasks, instead of trying to cram everything into one prompt where you get more of a generic response, try to break it down into a series of smaller, more focused prompts. This allows AI to actually tackle every part of the task individually, which can lead to a much more detailed and much more relevant and well thought out response. For example, let's say you prompt something like, write a blog post about the benefits of social media for business. You might get a fairly generic response, but instead of being discouraged or frustrated, you could iterate with a more specific prompt, like something like this. Write a blog blog post about the top three benefits of using Instagram for small businesses to create to increase brand awareness. You can then further refine this by asking AI to focus on specific industries or to include a call to action. This iterative approach allows you to gradually shape the AI's output until it perfectly meets your needs. Now let's dive into a more advanced iteration technique called chain of thought prompting. Think of this as guiding AI through a logical thought process step by step. This is really useful for more complicated tasks where you want AI to reason its way to an answer rather than just giving you a direct response. You're essentially asking it to show its work. To use this technique, you break down your more complex request into smaller interconnected questions. 
or instructions. You prompt AI to think of the problem logically one step at a time. Here's an example of this in action. Let's say you want the AI to brainstorm ways of improving customer retention for your yoga studio. The first prompt might be something like, what are the key reasons why members might not renew their memberships at a yoga studio? So you can see AI generated some good information here. So let's focus on one of the reasons. So one of the reasons that AI gave us was lack of variety or progression. So we could say, considering lack of variety or progression as a key reason for members not renewing, what are three actionable steps that a yoga studio can take to keep its members motivated and engaged? See how we're guiding its thinking? Now let's think about measuring the impact of these changes. We can then ask it, how can a yoga studio measure the effectiveness of its efforts to improve the lack of variety or progression and increase renewal rates. By breaking down the complex task of improving member retention into these smaller logical steps, we're essentially forcing the AI to think about this problem more thoroughly, leading to a more helpful, well-reasoned strategy for your business. You've mastered the art of refining your prompts with text. Now get ready to unlock a whole new level by showing AI what you mean. Our fifth and final key takes your prompting to the next level, and that's leveraging multimodal input. Now, what does multimodal mean? Simply put, it just means giving AI more than one type of input. While we've primarily focused on text input so far, some AI tools like Google AI Studio allows you to give it, you know, different types of things, audio, images, video, to give the AI richer context. Let's see how we can use an image to really enhance our prompts. All right, here I am in Google AI Studio. For this example, let's say we want to generate a social media post to promote this new necklace, this emerald gold necklace. I've got a great image of the the product right here. Now I've just copied in this image. Instead of trying to describe the product in detail, I can simply show the AI and ask it to create a compelling social media post. So here's the prompt. Based on the image I just uploaded, write a short, engaging Instagram caption to promote this emerald gold necklace. Highlight its key benefits and include a call to action to visit our website. Do you see how powerful this is? I didn't need to spend any time describing the product's features, colors, or style, but by simply showing the AI the image, it can understand the visual details and generate a relevant, engaging social media caption that speaks directly to the appeal. So you could see here that it says, captivating emerald teardrop. So I didn't tell it anything about the shape of the emerald. It can see it from the actual picture, which is pretty amazing. And then if I don't really like the first example that it came up with, I can always say, can you give me three other options for Instagram captions? Highlight the fact that it is gold filled and doesn't tarnish. And boom, it gives me three other captions that I can then use and iterate on. Now, a quick note about privacy, always be mindful of the images that you're uploading and be careful not to upload anything that's confidential. All right, so you've learned the five keys of effective AI communication. Let's see how we can put these all together in a real world business challenge. In this example, we're gonna use AI to help us brainstorm and create content for a social media marketing campaign for a new product launch. Let's say our company is launching launching a brand new productivity app called FlowPro. Our goal is to create engaging social media posts to drive engagement, create buzz, and drive initial downloads. We're gonna start with a more comprehensive prompt incorporating the first two keys, being specific and concise and providing context. All right, so here we go, here's the prompt. As an experienced social media marketing expert with 15 years of experience, generate three different social media post ideas for Twitter to announce the launch of our new productivity app, FlowPro. Our target audience is busy professionals age 25 to 45 who are looking for ways to improve their time management and organization. Our brand voice is friendly, innovative, and slightly playful. So you could see that we're incorporating a lot of the things that I've talked about in this video already. All right, so the next prompt for the first tweet idea that's on the list, make it a question that addresses a common pain point our target audience experiences. Include relevant hashtags like productivity, time management, new app. Perfect, so you could see it's revised the first tweet based on what we've said, awesome. Then we can say, rewrite the call to action, this is iteration, to encourage users to sign up for early access on our website, perfect. It's done that here, so revise the tweet with the call to action for the website. Now for the last key that we learned about multimodal prompting, let's imagine we have a compelling image showcasing FlowPro's app features, which I have. We can upload that image and we can add it to our prompt. Let's try and do that. So we can say, along with the text for the first tweet, suggest a type of image that would be visually appealing and relevant to this message. Here's an image of our product, FlowPro's app's key features. Awesome. 
and it gives us a really good response on what type of image we should actually consider using, which is great. And that additional context from that image we gave it really helped to form an answer that's more relevant for our purpose. So as you can see, starting with a more comprehensive prompt with the persona, the context that it needed, and then the specificity and that conciseness, and then also telling it what style we wanted to get the information in and iterating, and then using multimodal prompting with the image, we were able to get a really targeted social media post. And this is an example of how you can use this in a real world example in your business. So there you go. By understanding how AI sees your prompts and by consistently applying the principles that I showed you in this video, you can unlock the true power of AI and get the results that you want out of it. Remember that prompt engineering is a skill that improves with a lot of practice. So don't be afraid to keep iterating and refining your prompts and you're gonna get better as you go. If you found this video helpful and you wanna stay ahead of the curve with the latest AI tools and strategies, watch this next video to see how you can generate unbelievable images with ChatGPT's new 4.0 model.